Most people aren't going to see a solar eclipse in totality. The last one in the US was 2017, and the next one will be in 20 years. So for a lot of people, this will be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Most of the time, these things happen over large swaths of uninhabited land, not easily accessed, or over the sea. This time, it's passing right over the middle of the US. So, we have traveled 450 miles. We've ridden through twisty mountains, endless seas of wheat and farmland, over not one, but two rivers on some pretty sketchy barges. And uh, we've made camp in a tractor supply parking lot to see what the uh, hubbub is all about. Let's get into it. Start every trip the same way, by myself, prepping the bike, mentally preparing myself for something I'm not a huge fan of. See, I don't like long road trips, and this will be the longest one that I've taken to date. There's gonna be a lot of road miles, but boring ones at that, and that's all I can think about when I'm getting ready. This is usually the case that goes away pretty quickly when I set off through the city and take off. Now we're doing a thousand miles, but 40 of these miles are alone. So I like to take the chance when I can get it and just kind of ruminate about all the things that we're going to see and spending time with people that I really enjoy being around. I've said it a thousand times, well, I'll say it a thousand more times, I love the motorcycle community. It is without a doubt my favorite part of riding. Now, I know I'm going to be sore and tired and grumpy. The long road miles are just not my thing. But before I get too far along in those thoughts, I end up at my first destination, start this trip, meet up with everybody, and head out. And of course, you know where it begins. All right, we're starting every trip uh, the way one does, in the middle of the parking lot out of Bucky's. Bucky's, because you can't have a road trip unless you started here. All the on crew, on two crew is here. We're gonna gas up, we'll get snacks. Today's goal is... Lunch. Lunch. At first. At first. Go fast, don't die. And <laughs> <laughs> Go fast, don't die, okay. Uh, where are we heading? Heading to Murfreesboro. Meet up with Trey Dog for lunch is the first stop. So lunch with Trey Dog in Murfreesboro. We're heading uh, to somewhere where he's going to take us <laughs> to do something. We have no idea. Ferry today, I found a little one. <laughs> hey, ferry today, ferry tomorrow. I, I am very excited about the potential of a ferry. <laughs> Not excited about the potential of the ferry sinking. Probably not gonna happen. It's, it's not. Sad. It's not gonna. Be, it yeah. hasn't sunk yet. So. Well, I wasn't worried about it until now. It's not. It's not in Baltimore. <laughs> like I said, this is gonna be one of the longest trips that I've ever taken. I think 300 miles one way is about as far as I've traveled on a on a motorcycle, and I've never really traveled too far away from home on a bike. So this would be the farthest away, the longest distance that I've traveled on a motorcycle. Long trips are boring, it's monotonous, just endless, endless highway. And you can get exhausted. When you're doing this by yourself, it tends to uh, fatigue you. The drone of the wind, the hypnotic nature of traveling on an interstate for hours on end. It's made a lot easier the fact that I have friends with me and made even easier in the fact that one of them gets super poor gas mileage so we have to stop quite frequently. I think about this trip and I think it's not something super special at least the way I'm thinking about it. We're going to see a solar eclipse. That's it's not life changing but as we're riding and we're talking we're laughing we're having a good time I'm thinking about what I've always said and that is riding is the destination for me. And the destination in this case, it's just something new. This helps those hours go by faster and faster, and before you know it, we're stopping and meeting up with other friends, having lunch, and then we're off again. There's not really anything 
interesting you know, on the East Coast compared to, uh, to other parts of the country, at least in my opinion. But it doesn't take away from the same feeling that I get when I ride through these places. Uh, one of the reasons that I like going on journeys is because it's just a reminder how little of this space that we occupy. Somehow we manage to end up in some of the most rural and isolated places, even though we weren't that far away from a major city or a town of some sort. And there's a lot of this trip where we just kind of sat in silence and soaked it up. The goal for today is just to get miles under our belt to close the gap between our destination so that the next day is short and we can really enjoy it. The only thing that really stood out for me and that we were doing today was something that I've not only not done on a motorcycle, but not even in a vehicle. As we're riding through the countryside, we come up to an area where traffic is completely stopped. And in the middle of nowhere, I go, well, this isn't normal. And I would soon find out that we were going to be crossing a river. Now our lead, Chase T, has taken me over quite a few river crossings in our time riding together, but uh, I was not prepared for this. Oh, it's such a it's such a weird feeling underneath my feet. Hey, Greeny, make sure to put your hand on your front brake when we hit here. Otherwise, you're going that way. This is wild. This feels so weird. Like, I've never been so aware of a surface underneath my feet before. It's almost like I can feel underneath the deck. All right. That was cool. I, uh, I have to say, that is the smoothest and most comfortable water crossing I've ever been on with you, uh, Jake. This is uh, good. It's hard to explain the feeling of having a solid surface underneath you transmitting through the bike, but also still being able to feel the water as you're standing there. Uh, it was super cool. Uh, even though it was a small little crossing, uh, it was awesome. But then it was just time to put miles under our belt. We wanted to get to the Airbnb, get the first day of riding over with, Get some food and some Advil. Get to sleep so that we could uh, wake up early and head to our actual final destination. No morning is uh started right and if it's not started we'll fall the house our plan today is to get straight up through kentucky uh i think a ferry is on the docket a bigger ferry apparently than the one that we had yesterday so uh we're trying to manage our time with traffic and all that shit because uh, it's going to be crazy. There's a lot of people that uh, are going to be coming to this thing. Uh, the last one that was in the US got hyped up pretty heavily. So more people are aware of it and are coming to this. Uh, Airbnbs have been lit up like crazy. Uh, it's been kind of wild. I am exhausted and sore. We're going to have uh, it's gonna be a nice little chat. We were kind of quiet. There's a lot of, uh, of, of miles and, and hours yesterday. so. Oh, I get some food in me, get some coffee in me, and then we head to the spot. We're hoping to get there early enough to just set up and relax. So we'll see. We'll get some food. Now, I love small town America. I couldn't see myself staying there, but passing through and seeing this kind of simplicity of existence uh, is fascinating to me. I've lived my whole life in a large city, so every time we go to places like this or pass through, it's kind of like a, oh, what a simple life, oh, what a 
all the unnecessary things that I have to deal with in traffic and and noise and light pollution and how these people don't have to deal with any of that and then I think yeah but they don't have a target nearby so who really loses in this situation but it is nice to pass through and you see these quaint little towns uh, pop up every 20 or 30 miles and again it's a fairly quiet ride but we've got a goal in mind to another river crossing a little bit more well put together <laughs> all right well it may not be the fastest way to get across the Ohio River but it sure is the coolest way yeah, this one's a lot more substantial and a lot longer of a trip uh, but nevertheless uh, the excitement from the last crossing on a very didn't wane in fact it amplified I was really excited to get to do this it, it seems simple but it's fun Poor dog. <laughs> just traveling at a brisk half a mile an hour across the Ohio River. Just a couple of homies slowly moving across a river next to the, whatever's inside that thing. <laughs> Not alarming. Are we moving now? I like how one of the Amish guys snuck on. <laughs> He's back here on, the right, on my right side. <laughs> He's like, see you later, losers. I'm going on Rumspringa. <laughs> Fucking dragging something. Once we're across, straight to food. And after we fill up, we head to our final destination, which is a tractor supply parking lot that is completely empty, where we can watch the solar eclipse in its totality. Okay, while we're while we're waiting, guys, uh, how many people have seen a, a eclipse in totality? Yes. I've you, seen an yeah. eclipse inside of a house. It doesn't count. No. No. Nope. What about you over there, dongers? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you have. I have. You went to the one in 2017. Yes. Okay. I was in Nashville for that one. Nashville. Okay. Yes. I remember doing the little pinhole projection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went outside and did it. I remember doing something very similar, but I don't know the, if it was totality. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, never seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Can't remember. <laughs> we slept. For a lot of things. <laughs> uh, checks out. Checks out. Oh, I can see, I can see the, the, if you look at the light itself, you it's can changed. tell it's changing. Yeah, it's, it's dusking up. Alright, yeah. It's yeah. it's weirdly it's weirdly diffusing. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> no wonder people got sacrificed during times. Yeah, we have a conversation about like yeah, I'm not surprised that people were like I, the I, world I, is ending. I, if you were to look, I guarantee you someone will die to weird circumstances at this time. Well there's already the conspiracy nuts out there like this is a sign of the end of times. It's earthquakes that's in every, the That's every single eclipse yeah. though. Yeah. You gotta think back in what, thousands of years ago before we had all this scientific knowledge. Hey, it's not supposed to be dark now. Yeah. This is bad. You all, anger all of our cattle god are gonna die. You <laughs> angered the sun god. Why are your chains all rusty? Yeah, not rusty. It's, it's literally rusting. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that's not. No. Nah. Randy. That's not rust. Cake clocks. Oh no, that's uh, that's dried up sand. Yeah. Cause I still have Florida on me. I wonder if, uh, hey, let me see your little, uh, your little card thing for the camera. Let's see if this will pick it up. This oh, oh yeah, that little speck right there. <laughs> Does that work? That worked. It, 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 you can't fucking see. Any. I tried. I tried. Yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to describe this because it is weirdly muted. 
Uh, the colors are just. Oh my my! I don't like this. <laughs> my eyes are breaking. Just accept it. It's just relax, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like some hipster filter on everything. I mean. Oh, I'm getting like crazy fringing uh, from the flares. Yeah. They're all about a tough line. Now keep! <laughs> <laughs> All the lights came on on the street lights. <laughs> I'm looking at the sun right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know. If that is wild. I don't have the appropriate lenses to show what this looks like. Wait a minute. Let's uh <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty dope. 360 sunset. Yeah, this is wild. And then toward the uh, southwest, you'll see it start to get brighter. Coming this way. That is so cool. It, yeah, a 360 sunset all the way around. That is so wild. Oh, oh, there it comes. Nope, oh, don't look anymore. Glass is back on, y'all. <laughs> stare at it. It's so beautiful. Yep, it's peeking back out. And, and look, and look how much lighter it's already getting. <laughs> that little bit of sun. It literally, it was like. Oh, there's the cars that were like, okay, time to not be there. Here we go. And it's going to warm up. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. All right. See y'all there. <laughs> see you All right. All right. That was fun. Go home. Beat the traffic. It's 450 miles back home now. That was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, if there's ever a reason to come to Hopkinsville, Illinois. <laughs> Harrisburg. Harrisburg. I don't know. Why he stayed in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. I don't know because Chesterton Field, Iowa. <laughs> just put a bunch of names together. <laughs> That's it's somewhere in the middle of Illinois. Uh, if there's ever a reason to be there, this would be one of them. So it was nice and chill, li literally and figuratively. Yeah. So, Bo, was it worth the journey? Yes, 100%. Uh, Here's the thing about these trips. Uh, I like going on trips with you guys because I like riding with really? you guys and hanging out with you guys. Uh, but I'm also a destination, not a journey kind of person. Like I hate fucking riding on the street for that long. That sucks. Yeah. Uh, but I like when we get to places and we unwind and unload and hang out. So like even if even if this was like you and me going to like North Georgia somewhere to get 81%. It would have been still fun. I'm glad we got to see totality. totality. At any rate, uh, that's it for now. What we've got to do is go travel three hours to go see this guy's house because he's our Airbnb tonight. Doghouse. Yeah, the doghouse. Gross. Uh, <laughs> rain all the way back. And then tomorrow's rain. Uh, probably won't show that. If I don't, I may get some shots in the rain, who knows. Uh, I gotta test the waterproofing of the camera anyways. Uh, so if not, that's the end of this video. Thank you that thing will Thank you to all of the On2 crew, all the smart guys, and the princess. Uh, this was an amazing trip, I'm glad I got to do it, and bring you guys along. In a world full of dicks, be a boner. <laughs>
<laughs> be safe, be kind. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.